This recent Yellow Jacket protests were an occasion for violence. Windows were smashed, cars were burned, shops were looted, and yet no group has taken responsibility. Is this a manifestation of anger towards government? Well, it's certainly that. Um, but I think it's part of the wider story of um, you know, people's anger towards government. But I think when you look uh, at those uh, you know, groups, those really vandal groups, uh, um, in the sense that they had no real political purpose that we can see, but I think it demonstrates what happens um, when the level of anger towards the government rises. Because we're all capable of anger, or we're all capable of terrible things. Um, but some people live more on the edge of anger than others. And they're usually marginal figures because it's not, it's not easy being around angry people. But when everyone is angry together, I think they have a permission to do what they want to do, um, for whatever reason. Um, and I think that's what, what is what's happening with, with the um, uh, Yellow Jacket protest. But the issue is not the violence, which is a symptom. Uh, the anger which allows the violence to emerge is what needs to be addressed. And at the root of that is, I think, the modern government's inability to include everyone and to say to everyone, you're a part of this. And it's not just a question of you know, people's standard of living, and even though there is, there's an economic dimension to this, certainly, but there's a deeper thing that, um, it, it's something that was pointed out by actually an American president, John Adams, the second American president. And he made the point that when you're poor, the shame of poverty is not the shame of people giving out to you or condemning you. It's the shame of being unnoticed, of being a nobody. Um, and he makes the point, he says, to be you know, unnoticed and to know this is intolerable. That's the word he uses, intolerable. Um, and I think a lot of the Yellow Jacket protest is people who are struggling and who I think that you know, in a time of crisis would, would rise to the challenge. And it's not a question of you know, just the uh, hardship they're enduring, but it's the fact that the government has found no way of saying to them, you're part of this um, and you have a part to play.